Now, two questions came out of my last video. The first was, what happens if a pan um, discharges over the overflow weir? There are two solutions to this. Uh, firstly, that overflow could discharge directly into a rain head below, as long as there was an air gap. As rain head compliance only comes into play when a box cutter is discharging directly into it. So if you're doing a side overflow or a high capacity, consider any rain head connected to that to be a transfer station. And explaining that a little bit further, imagine if you had a downpipe directly connected to it internally, you wouldn't call the box cutter installation non-compliant just because uh, it had a direct connection. Uh, secondly, I've been swamped with uh, design questions for the overflow weir, so I thought I'd add a couple of documents here that people could screenshot uh, to get a better understanding of what they need to do to design their own sumps. I think these photos here are fairly self-explanatory and I hope it helps and I am happy to answer any further questions anyone may have.